Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big, big shit. Check it, check it, check it. It's unique hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Not none, you know, my dear. go on. I want y'all to stop what you're doing right now. This is the time you take to go ahead and like, subscribe, follow us on all social media platforms. And when I mean all, I mean all. I mean TikTok, Snapchat, Facebook, you name it, we're on it. Just Google us, Boss Talk Podcast 101, and we will pop up, guaranteed. But if you want to see all our visuals, you got to go over to our YouTube channel. There you'll see all our visuals. You can hit that subscribe, that notification. We thank you for that. But if you want to get exclusive content, and everybody wants exclusive content, okay? You got to go ahead and under each and every video, including this one right here in the description section, there's a link that says join our membership. That's how you can get exclusive content. Follow the instructions because y'all see us on the street all the time and be like, man, y'all dope. We love your content. How can we support the brand? This is how you can support the brand. Buy our membership. Thank you in advance. And I love the support because we're going to keep pushing every single day, God willing. And we love you. Man, hey, man. Like I said, man, listen, y'all got to listen to it when you come in with that intro like that. Uh, Mr. Jamaica is not playing, man. Thank you for that. You're, <laughs> You're welcome. Hey, man, listen, man. We got a special guest in here today, man. You don't need no introduction, man. This guy right here, man, he has been supporting me ever since I started Boss Talk 101. I know it wasn't but God put him in my life. He in the building today. Man, one of the biggest, man, when I say it, man, mm -hmm. for me, man. Sean Cotton say cheese in the building. One of the retired gatekeepers. Is what, is that what Big D is? Retired as gatekeeper. Retired gatekeeper. Right. Doing? How you doing, man? Thank you so much for coming back on the show, uh, man. I told you I was coming. Man, I, and you know, the one thing I do realize, man, is that you're a man of your word, bro. Yeah. That's the one thing, I, and I respect that. I'm a man that always, I watch everything, bro, and that's probably, I know that's why you've been so successful in your mm -hmm. endeavors because you do what you say. Yep. And that's a big part of it for me, man. But I'm going to hand it over to Miss to make and let her start off. Yes, because you know, one of the main reasons we wanted to invite you back, because mm -hmm. we wanted to present you with this award. Oh, shit, I thought this was the award. <laughs> <laughs> That's just a benefit. That's a plus, okay? Yeah, and you yeah. see, you got a Say Cheese logo on yep. the end. Let man, me tell you, say we love logo, that. Logo, man, Cole, you, you showed us so much love, yeah, bro. Yeah, I appreciate it. Man, you, you, hey, we respect you the man, utmost. I respect y'all, too. I man. never, I don't play about you. Yeah. You always know that. Yeah. I don't, I'm over here like, whatever you said, nigga, it ain't, it ain't over here like that for yeah. me, because he, he never done me nothing. You right, know what I'm saying? Right. So I always just always been that way. Yeah, because we like to um, acknowledge people not only in this city, but, you know, all over who have been a pioneer in their craft. And yep. we, that's how we think of you because you've exactly. been doing you've been grinding everybody. No say cheese and stuff. So this award, it says thank you because, you know, this shiny. OK, thank you, Sean Cotton. Say cheese in recognition of having the Midas touch and continued success in the media industry by building a multi-million dollar brand Damn. that continues to give people a glimpse into the Say Cheese guest lives while breaking artists year after year. Being a successful entrepreneur and philanthropist, branching off into the cannabis industry, giving back to the community and more. Man. Congratulations, best wishes. From Boss Talk on Hey, hey, hey. Man, and check you. it out. Man, that's dope, man. That's <laughs> dope. Man, that's the third that's one we've given out like that, wow. man. It's just you, Bun B, and Faison Love. Man, them, the that's, only three. that's hard, man. man I really, I, appreciate I really that. the more God bless us, the more we can bless others. This man. is tough, man. And and I think I think we uh I think um platforms should start doing more of this for key guests. And Y'all are the first one I feel like done it. So yeah, is, we started off doing it, yeah. and then I seen a few more people. This just, is so I, tough, I think I bro. seen who it's hard, ain't it? Right? Yeah. Like we really put put time and effort into it because mm -hmm. we know that what you did, what you've done, it made a difference, man. It helped so many people to be who they are. You man, break art. You've done so tough. much. You know what I mean? It's tough. Y it's hard, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just tough. And, and, and to me, it's just like, it's just the thought that counts. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a lot of people, um, they, um, they, 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 
they try to downplay shit like this, but it means everything when people go out their way to do stuff like this. But so. it's, it's you. It's and well it's not deserving, lightweight. Man. It's exactly. Very this shit, it's this very shit heavy. Heavy. Yeah. Yeah. Shit. It is very heavy. Yeah. Shit. Y'all got a YouTube play? Yeah, we did. Yes. Okay, cool. I want a second one. You know, I'm working yeah. on my second one now. I got to get uh, it going. Um, well, that's the million, right? Yeah. The million no, 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 no. My it's other channel. My other. Oh, the second channel. Yeah, right, right, it's right. at fifty some thousand. So if I get it to hundred k, yep. Then now give me a double one. Then I got to keep. Then this one we had. What two hundred and sixteen, seventeen thousand yeah. subscribers? You know what I'm saying the million you million get, the, the you, get the, you the got platinum. that. Yeah, you get the, the platinum plaque, right? You get the gold. I, no, I, yeah, I, I wasn't able to get my a uh, hundred thousand. The uh, hundred thousand? Yeah, I wasn't why? Able, I don't know why. They, my channel just told me that I didn't. I wasn't in good standing. Why? So I had to go to somebody else who knew somebody at YouTube to make me a, a whole like a uh, custom one. Really? Mm. Yeah. That's hard though. Yeah. And, and it's because you deserve it. Like you, YouTube be tripping. Like you know, even Half Pint never made a penny off his channel. Yeah, yeah. he told me that. Yeah. And I was, I was on his head about it. I'm like, man, he capping. Like he. No, I called that nigga. I was upset about he's that. Been saying that for like the year, the past year. So it's believable. No, no, I called him. and He told me it was. He was. And I remember when he tried stuff. to restart a channel. I would have just kept. Rest I'm not doing no. Free YouTube, bro. I'm sorry. No, nah, unless you can figure out a way to monetize, monetize it. That's but, why he was doing all of those uh, reviews and yeah, stuff. Did I, he ever I, try to restart it? Yeah, he did. And he did. But what then happened? I think he kind of like, like we talked he about lost. before the interview, like it's hard to restart yeah, a, a yeah. channel. Yeah. And it doesn't pick up as fast. And then mm -hmm. people want to go on the old channel still. And it's not easy. I would have just restarted it. Because by now it would have picked up. It would have right. picked up. Yeah, you got to, so. you can't give up. You got to keep going. I mean, it's a consistency. Yeah. We know that. Like, mm -hmm. that's what make our channel. We took it and it went up fast. To be yep. honest with you, I think we we probably averaging just on that one five three thousand a uh, three thousand a month now mm -hmm. maybe, mm -hmm. and that take working it and pushing yeah. it, bro. You know what I'm Anything. saying? You know what just came to my mind though, and um, tell me if you think this would have worked. If he had when he created a new one, if the old one, if he put up like a back then it wasn't shorts, but like a small video where you would keep people in suspense, like you cut it right where yeah. they would have to, and at the end of that you say go over here yeah. to see the rest yeah, of the he video. He could have crossed That's over the community thing where you could type in the community mm -hmm. thing. And it's ways now, but I mean, you, I don't yeah. know. I'm not doing. I'm not having no free YouTube. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, 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 no. You gotta, you no. gotta switch it up. You gotta work hard and yeah. come hard, call, come. I, it still ain't because YouTube like, is free. Like it's, it's free. It, they, you know, it ain't. It, it, they're not charging you. It's just for right. all free. And they I, want your content. I think they. I think they. They got it. They got it down to a science. YouTube, Instagram, yeah. TikTok. Hell, uh, Twitter, even to all mm -hmm. of them. They got. I like down. Twitter the most because it's no like censorship. Yeah, like you could say whatever on there. Um, now you can't be like uh, you can't bully people, but you could say you could curse. Like they got be, porn on there. Be porn on there. <laughs> what about the, the thread? I mean, you think threads. about it. Threads, uh, but but threads they flopped. Too, yeah, it flopped. Didn't yeah, it? it flopped real bad. It's just um, because people are set on people. You know, we're 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 uh, we have habits, and our habits is the apps that we already know. It's like, why would we go to threads when that shit's like Twitter already? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. It's it, just like it. And, and then Elon Musk and uh, uh, Mark Zuckerberg they act like they it. were going to get yeah. to it for real. They yeah. didn't ever, they canceled out on the fight. Yep. They wasn't like you. They didn't always nah. stand on business. <laughs> <laughs> But I that's, got, I that's, got that's, to laugh about because, that. Because that's the biggest thing. Like when you have, people talk all that shit, but when you have status, it's 10 times more pressure getting in there. See? Because when you lose, People, it can hurt you. It can hurt your career. Yeah. If you don't accept, it depends on how you accept your loss. When I lost, I still was doing interviews. I still was outside. That's you right. still would see me. Some people would take, can't take a loss because yeah. of the content they make. They have this orb. They always talk about how tough they are. So some people can't take a loss. Nah, man, I, man. So I gotta get, I gotta ask, start these questions off. I guess yeah. I'll start off by asking about, uh, say, uh, Charleston. Mm -hmm. Um, with the Gillis situation. With the Gillis situation. Damn. Will, you from Philly. Yeah, my whole family, like, I, I yo, like, three will, people. Three will you people, touch that? What do you mean will I touch will it? Will you, like, when you interview, you ask him why? I'm definitely going to ask him why, because I want to challenge him on, like, why he did it. Um, I seen, I, I seen Gilly came at him first. He did? Um, and From what I could see. Yeah, from what, from what I could we, see. But people, like, I, I'm stuck in between because I had, like, a few of my homies called me from Philly yesterday and, they was like asking my opinion about it. They was like, so are you going to still interview Charleston? Or like, how do you feel about it? 
and it's like I'm stuck in like in between kind of because I got relationships back home. But Gilly, do you you and Gilly have a relationship? I don't have a relationship with Gilly, but it's still like you know it's kind of distasteful a little bit. You know, yeah. like yeah, because I'm never I, I only have one kid, but I could just imagine like losing the kid. Mm-hmm. Um, but Charleston, I did see him go live, and he made a good point about the snitching part too. Like you know, like you're saying don't snitch, but your son was killed and. So it's it's just touchy, you know. It's touchy. I don't. I really want to like stay away from it, but you know, I'm drunk is like my number to, one guess. So they gonna expect you to, uh, to pretty I much. I wouldn't open now. Up now me, it. I I don't I don't believe in dissing the dead. I'm me. This is I, I'm my own man. though. I can't speak for Charleston, but I I just can't do that because I feel like the tongue is powerful. Yeah, and you know, Charleston has a son too, mm-hmm. and now all the energy is shifted on his son, like. You know, like people are commenting and because Charleston went live saying I could call my son. I and could he call did my son. call him. But now you got people who don't like Charleston wishing bad on his son. See how energy work? Yeah. So, like I said, that's they beef. I wouldn't do that. Like, I don't believe in dissing the dead. I don't even listen to music dissing dead like people. Like, that's never been my fourth. I, I don't I don't like that. Like, and we've seen videos of people actually agreeing with him, too. Yeah. And we're like, but how can you? It's certain points that he made, which is because in in the art of war, I guess, is like once somebody come at you, all, you know, all, you know. Nothing's off limits. All gloves are off. But I just don't, me, I don't mm. believe in this and the dead, though. Yeah. Like, yeah. that's me. It's a, it's like, a, and I want to interview him and I want to, like, I want to, like, ask him, like, you know, like, damn, like, but but you have a son, bro. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, but I think he'll have, I think he'll have his his way of thinking about oh, it. I know how he, <laughs> I know how he gonna do it. I've watched him interview. I've interviewed him so many times. I understand that that he's very uh, he intellectual when it come down to responses and all that. We all are. Yeah. When you a hustler and when you fit, when you really really been living life. And it just understand things, you're able to get around these subjects and yeah. conversations. So but, at the end of the day, I think he's mastered that part. So see, I, I, mean, I, I, I want to hear what he's seen you in That's why Boosie is smart, because Boosie knows that I'm not even going to touch, I'm not even going to pay him no mind because Charleston, once you go at him, he's going to hit you below the belt. Mm. Yeah. That's just how he is. He already told you he, he's not, he's not going to fight fair, he don't fight fair. He's gonna have knives, and he's not. He's not like he's gonna hit whatever to win. That's the type of person Charleston is. So that's why Boosie's smart because Charleston been trying to rile him up, and Boosie not even trying to like act. You know? Yeah. Like Boosie, Boosie, like he'll he'll uh he just be like shout out to Charleston. Like I don't fuck with him. He you know he I'm scared of him. He so I think. Gilly, you think he's scared of him, or you think he's just smart about how he's, he's smart about yeah, it? Yeah, like I don't he's, think he's he, scared of he's him. He's smart about he's he not no Boosie not scared of Charleston, mm. but it's like the cop shit, the telling the feds and shit like that. Boosie's scared of that. Yeah. He don't want to be near that. Right. Yeah. But I think Gilly should have known that like once you deal with Charleston, like once you go at him first, he's is no rules. Like that's just how he is. Mm, and, and you should know because you've interviewed him. A That's lot, just how he is. A when, lot he, of when me, when he, me and him got into it, he Same was talking thing, all type of shit. Like, this is how he is. Yeah, like, yeah. and I just think people should have know. Like, Gilly, you should have. You're doing. You're a million dollars. You got all this shit going on, bro. Like, why you even? You know how Charleston gonna get. Like, why you even go there? I, hey, not, I'm not saying Charleston's right for what he's saying, but I'm just saying like, yeah, yeah. every action has a reaction. Yeah, and Charleston's. Come on, bro. It's Charleston. Like, Man, it been it been guys on GD. GD been putting it on his page like crazy. He been he been battling with that. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And I was like, man, you know, just the thing you gotta understand when you go there with him, he he's gonna take it there. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I can you know I can really say, man. You know, this internet game, man, how far is too far? I mean, I know you've seen when Shannon Sharp, he was getting them gay gay accusations from all of these comedians man. because he interviewed comedians yeah. like me. Mm-hmm. I interview a lot of comedians. Yeah. So when you 
How far is going too far? And then when he stepped out of the truck and yeah, he, he had that he picture. Did. I don't know. Like I said, I'd be thinking he trolling because he had a little dog going through the airport. He <laughs> had makeup on. The, and he's got the hottest channel in podcasting Man, right he's now. He's fire. He's, a, he's basically. But you said trolling, but even when he was walking through the airport and we saw that situation, and I even said to you, I said, maybe he planted somebody there videoing him. Nah, and making, but you said no. Nah, nah. So, But the way how that looked, it made it look a certain way. So how is he trolling? No, if I'm not talking about that on that part. I'm talking about on the makeup being put on wrong or getting out the truck and having somebody. That was his recorder. So mm -hmm. he had somebody record that yeah. and it went crazy. Mm -hmm. So, but when you get this energy where things are going right for you, people are going to come for you. Oh, you. You know that. Right, just hot. Bro, for the longest, for the last five years, people don't know this. I don't go through my mentions on Instagram, how you can go through your mentions and see where you're tagged. I don't, I don't, I, for the last five years on my kid, I have not went in the in my mentions on purpose, like to scroll and see, I, I just don't do it because it's a lot of negative energy that will fuck up your day, trick you out of position, calling you all type of names. And, um, I just don't do it. I, I, I don't. Wow. I can't. Now my DMs, I'll, I'll like go through my DMs and see who like hitting me, but I don't go through my mentions because of shit like that. The shit that you're talking about, you could be having a good day and any allegation narrative could pop up and it could mess with your head. Wow. And then once you see the same narrative over weeks and months, then it start to mess with you. Then you feel like you got to defend yourself and that's when you get tricked out of position. Wow. So I don't, I don't mess with none of that. Wow. I don't mess with none of that. I got to ask you, um, I don't even read comments on my interviews. I don't do none of that. None but of it. None. Some some can be positive none. though. My mom and dad will call me and be and tell me good or bad news. I say I don't care about none of that. They watch don't, it. Boy. Yes, my mom and dad watch all my shit. They my biggest fans. Wow, they watch. Watch it. E my dad watch. So they everything. watch Boss Talk. Yeah, man, that's yeah. hard. Next time, Shout I'm, out to next hey. time I'm gonna bring <laughs> next time I'm gonna bring my dad up here. That'll be hard. But he watches everything. I don't. I don't. I don't. I tell him, yo, I don't care about nothing. Like, don't tell me nothing. Because it keeps me just working. It keeps me tunnel vision. Mm -hmm. Good or bad. Good can make you start being lazy. Yeah. Bad can make you crash out. I don't want to know nothing. Don't tell me nothing it. about nothing. That's hard. I and like I know I, I, I know sometimes it could be weird because it could be criticism in there. It could be money in the comments. Somebody trying to reach out to you. But I just don't. The comments are the devil because people can say anything to get to you and they know that. Wow. I don't I want... But do you ever, okay, so when you put out videos, do you ever go back and watch, because you don't edit your own videos. No. Nah. Do you ever go back and watch your own videos? Sometimes, uh, I don't like listening to my own voice. I don't know why I'm like that. Are you like that? I'm like that. I just don't. Like, once it's out there, it's out there. Once it's in the universe, there's nothing I could do. That's just how I treat it. I, I don't go watch them. Now, I may, I'm not even a numbers guy either. Like, um, when But you I, can learn how to be better, though. Yeah, but I that's just come with time. I, I don't I don't wanna go back and, and, and watch nothing. But I'll go back and like look at the numbers after a week because I don't want I believe in the numbers could like mess up your grind. Like mm -hmm. when you're not having good numbers in a certain week, it can make you discouraged or I don't like when I tell you I just we just push the button and go, that's how I am. That's hard. I like it. I like it because it basically keeps you from losing focus exactly. at all. Bro, the internet will fuck your head. Excuse me. Fuck your head up. No, I get it. Will it. it will mess you up. What do you think about, um, you be seeing no jumper. I know you see everything that they going through. Yeah. It's always some, man, you know, you started a podcast. Yeah. And, and I, I, well, I want to say start podcast. I want to say you started a podcast. You start jumping on camera more. I'm so happy about yeah. that because you, your voice, everybody already know your uh -huh. voice. So it's like you taking another step. Right, right, right. What made you start getting, because I seen your interview with uh, uh, Charleston. I seen your interview with Rain yeah. and uh, the, yeah. the, what's that uh, button? FYBJ, man. F -Y -B -J, man. Yeah. J, man. He's going crazy. Let's right start now. right there. I got to yeah. ask you about him. But anyway, like, what made you jump in the front um, of the camera? Just to help the brand. Um, just, just really just to help the brand for real. Um, I just felt like it was a part of time to where, like I told you, if Say Cheese was to, if anything was to happen, ever happen with Say Cheese, the Sean Cotton brand could still stand on something. That makes sense. So that's really it. Um, I really don't care about being seen no, or anything of that nature, but it helps the brand. Like when you're out and about, I know sometimes people. Yeah, they, all, they know. Yeah, it just helps the brand, like endorsements, deals, yeah. all type of shit. So. Yeah, I think Big D was the first one told me that you was about to start doing that yeah. and that you was contemplating doing it. Mm -hmm. He was like, he's going to start getting in front yeah. of that camera. We talked about it. I was yeah. like, he's going to do it. Damn, on. man. 
D, how did, how, like how? Yeah, I know. Does that still affect you? Man, what? I've been thinking like, too. what the hell? Like, bro, like all these whole ass niggas out here, y'all had to take a good fam, like a good man. A good family Do you man. ever find yourself picking people phone to call him? Man, I just be, sometimes just be wanting to just like. Me too. Just post them or like, like I do want to like, I, be, I got a kid of my own, but I just sometimes just want to go over to like his crib and like check on the family because Colton his nep- his cousin is my best friend so oh, yeah, yeah, he told but me I don't know if it's too soon like I just be battling with like damn no, is it too soon, too soon or it's not too like soon. I don't want to be in nobody's way because like, you don't have to, at least you go it's not like he going every day yeah you know what I mean like I bought the whole family uh Something for Christmas. I usually don't talk about this stuff on right. camera, but I still even haven't took it to him because it's like really. I just don't want to. Bro, I get it. Like, damn. I called him. I called his phone number once since he been passed away, and you I did? yeah, I was going. Did it ring? Yeah, bro. I was gonna talk. I don't know. I was gonna talk to his wife and just see if she needed anything. And, yeah, I needed, and she yeah. didn't. She didn't answer. Um, I wonder but, who has his. Phone. I don't know. I just know that I called. You know because. At the end of the day, man, I called when he was living, and I met his yeah. son here. He brought his son here to the store mm. a few times, like, and I just felt like I know his son, and like if I could do anything to be a part of helping. And she put our video out first when she when she said they was announcing the channel to come back. Mm-hmm. She put a video of him being on yeah. here. That's how she reintroduced it. They tagged us in it and stuff, things like that. Uh, when he passed, and, and whoever had his phone texted us, told us all the funeral. So it's somebody, and I know she know. So I'm pretty sure that's yeah. her doing that. So I don't want want her to ever think that me and my wife, if she ever need anything on our side mm. because of that relationship me and him had, right. I'm willing to do whatever I can to help whatever situation. Exactly. You know, that's the way you feel as well. Yeah. Big D would call a lot. He would always check on me. Man. Ever since I started, when I called, he knew Anquan and and the thing I and I'm going right back into it, but the thing is, man, when God lets somebody come like that into your life, bro. And he be so consistently coming to try to just help, or it, it, we mm-hmm. never had a, a situation that broke us apart. Really, when you think about it, yeah. So, man, R.I.P. the Big D, bro. Crazy, bro. That's a tough one, man. But anyway, I got a question. So, you said that you don't like hearing your voice, mm. but I know that you're about to branch off into being a voice oh, yeah. actor. So, how you don't <laughs> like to hear your voice, but you're gonna be into a voice actor? I don't know. Uh, Damn, that's a good question. Yeah, I'm about, to, I'm about to start doing voice acting. So, like, for cartoons, like, animation, like, Disney movies, I'm going to start yeah. going to auditions for them. Um, I, um, They asked me to, to narrate uh, Lil' Tim's yeah. documentary, Lil' Tim, the King Von situation. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I, I narrated that. and um, So you already did that. When is that coming out? I already did that. I don't know yet. I just submitted the audio, and uh, they're doing more interviews. I think Charleston White tended... Um, I want to, is 6 9 in it? Um, it's a lot of people in this documentary. It's, and they're they're shopping it to like Hulu, Netflix. It's supposed to be like a big mm. situation. Who is doing it? Uh, these cats from, damn, you going, you going, don't get mad. No, good people though. Good people good I people. met from uh, Georgia. Good people I okay. met from Georgia. I just don't know the company name. Okay. But, um, yeah, so I'm, I'm really about to start doing that. And like I told y'all with the boxing shit, like I just, really like exploring like shit like I don't know what this is going to lead up to you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. like it could be a big time Disney movie it could be um, I don't know it could be it could be anything but is this something else to just help me sharpen my tools you know wow man uh, my boy Money Moses couldn't be here I gotta say this I'm shouting him out on a few of these episodes man Free Money Moses Free Money uh, Moses man I, I know uh, Carlos uh, Miller just shouted him out yeah. now you shouting him out yeah, I got Free Money hitter. Moses he man. gonna love Great it energy. Uh, yeah, Great yeah, energy gonna, yeah yeah um, I hope he gets out you know jail is nowhere I've never been to jail but the stories I hear man. the videos I see is nowhere you wanna be near so. where you wanna be yeah. uh, Free Money Moses but I wanna ask you about you know I was in California I was interviewing Lefty Gun play all these different people out yeah. in LA and uh, I looked on my uh, on my phone I mean on my phone somebody sent me say they having a meeting yeah mm. I said who having a meeting Sean Cotton they, they, they interviewing uh, a yellow bees he done call everybody I said what mm. and I was in Cali and I, I didn't feel no type of way right. I was like that's good man they gonna they evidently finally you know come to have a come to Jesus meeting or something yeah. you know far as 
to understand, you know, I guess uh, why Yellow don't, uh, in, you know, he, stuff. he mm-hmm. don't uh, deal with the Dallas Media. bloggers. Yeah. I talked to Yellow Beezy, me and Bubba Dub was in the dressing room and he said, some to the fact of the city not really, you know, like the people in the city don't show no love. You know what I mean? Certain, and it wasn't in no bad way. It was like the way they come for you, you know. And 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 it was it was real quick. It was just one 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 night because I don't know yellow like that. We don't have no long drawn conversations. I only met him on a couple of few mm-hmm. occasions, but I was a big fan already before mm-hmm. boss talk. So I would always go through uh, Big D, not Big D, a uh, Lodeezy. To try to get him, you know, over here. Matter of mm-hmm. fact, Lo told me he was gonna get him on here Damn. when he first had brought, you know, brought uh, a few artists through. You mm-hmm. know what he I mean? Come. He didn't ever. I never. I never even got to interview Yellow, but I always was a fan of. He did trap and design. I yep. had this store for eighteen years. Yep. I sell clothes. Yeah. That's so his, I, that's your favorite song. You always mention that one. That was that was the one. That was the one. That let yeah. you know if yeah. you know yeah. you know. That like was I was rocking with him, and then he did the thing with the piano, like Stevie One. I watched yeah. all this stuff. Bro, I was a big fan before. I didn't, and I and the crazy part about it is I didn't even listen to Mo Three to after he passed away. Mm, at least you admitted it. No, no, my brother tried to force him on me, and I was like, "Nigga, I'm not listening to that nigga, man." Mm. I don't know. It was cause he beat the dude up on Facebook. That pissed me off. Oh, uh, when he kind of had him under the car, kind yeah, of. Yeah, like, and then he had know. checked uh, uh, somebody that do mixtapes, and I was oh, like, "Oh, the DJ D real." And then I realized yeah, I I'm like, "No, you know." In my mind, I'm like, "Yellow going, Yellow doing his thing." Like he really yeah. representing right. He don't get into no mess, mm-hmm. and that's where I was. I'm an older okay. nigga, so gotcha. I was watching all that. Plus, Damn, I was that's crazy. You trapping design. Yeah. I'm, I'm a, I am love music. That's yeah. why I got both so. So you'll hear me say different stuff that go back to that music. Mm-hmm. So. Y'all had the meeting. You know, I was excluded. You know what I'm no, saying? No, 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 no. I was excluded. Boss Talk is here. We represent the city, I, I, too. Not to cut you off, but I think, uh, and, and I do want to say this. Yellow called me, and he was like, yo, I want to sit down. I want to sit down with you, baby. Baby wasn't there for some reason. And I, baby wasn't there. Uh, hit that. He named a few people, and all the media people, we didn't know what to expect. It was like one of them, like I, it was one of them situations with the Big Chief where they invite you somewhere and you don't know what you're getting yourself into. So I didn't know what to expect. He just wanted, he just told me that he wanted this situation to be on the Say Cheese platform. So I had gathered up my crew uh, and we showed up, but I didn't know if it was a, if it was going to be at like, if it was going to be like a podcast or like a debate or I didn't know what format it was going to be. Um, but to your point, um, it wasn't like the media people got together and didn't bring you. Yeah. It was, I think Yellow picked his people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the people he had issues with that he wanted to address. Well, I think, yeah, because yeah, I know we don't have no issue with Boss Talk because we don't even know exactly. each other like that. But again, you guys are all peers. Like I always say, mm-hmm. that's your. That's his era. You think yeah. about it. All y'all around the same age. Exactly. All y'all came up during the same yeah. time. Yeah, we, we were all broke we, together. You, I got, you see what yeah. I'm saying? Y'all all came up at the same time with the same circle of people, including mm-hmm. real life as well. Yeah. Like all y'all was even hit that. All y'all come mm-hmm. up during the time. So I, I got love for that. I enjoy seeing that, you know. And I didn't know who organized it, but I know it was high time for it to happen. Mm-hmm. Now, I watched the interview, too. Mm-hmm. And I was kind of like, you know, I, you don't get my opinion on Boss Talk because I don't want people to think no way. Mm-hmm. But I was listening to that yellow talk, and I was like, man, you know, he got a few points. But more so than anything, what stuck out to me was the bloggers is not who caused all the issues like that. Mm-hmm. I mean, yellow is... Yellow and yellow getting uh, shot. Yellow going, you know, having these different situations. Mm-hmm. The I beat him up situation and all that. A lot of that's going to spur not just in Dallas. Yeah. Everybody around the globe is is that, but it really yeah. feel it hit different probably to him because it's Dallas that's saying it, and yeah. he at home and he Facts. wants everybody want everybody to get behind him when they're at home. That's what they want. Mm-hmm. But the book I believe in say a prophet is without honor in his own mm-hmm. country. You see what I'm yeah. saying? So I don't think they they crucified uh, Jesus in in the in, in you know on on the skull of Golgotha. So at the end of the day, you know you not gonna get that honor where you from. Mm. It's crazy. But when you go places, when we go places, more people they love you more. Yeah. You know that yeah. when you leave home and go out, 
That's why the prodigal son left in Luke. I'm not going to go there in the Bible, but <laughs> you, when you go out, you feel like you're doing your thing anyway. Mm -hmm. But the people embrace you more in yeah, other cities, bro. That's true. Even DeRoe, when he hit, where did it happen at? Mm -hmm. The first place you hit. Okay. Yeah. So you, you, this is a part of it. But Yellow Dope, I mean, we all love Yellow Bees. We know what he did here. Mm -hmm. But we also love Mo3. When yeah. I started to look at the whole situation, we also love Rain. We also love uh, uh, Say Cheese, even though he ain't from Dallas. Because that's what they say in buying his back, to be honest yeah. with you. Say Cheese, man, Sean Kai, he ain't originally from. I'm from Arlington. Well, I grew up in Arlington. That's what so. they're going to. But, but they, they say you're not from They're going to say that. Yeah. Think about it. That's what they, I, in I, they I mind. I claim Arlington, though, because that's where I grew up. Mm -hmm. I don't care what you claim. They're yeah. going to say you from, they, you're yeah. not from. You, Dallas, from Philly. you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. That that but that's also a excuse for haters yeah. that pretty much don't want to put that work in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But how was it the energy for you being that you was in there and you was basically uh what was he? He was he was kind of moderating. He, mm -hmm. he was doing the moderating, he was sitting in the middle and yeah. uh, how was that? It was cool. Um I haven't talked to Half Pint in like five years. I love seeing that. You so, know that. I always try to get y'all yeah. together. Yeah. Well, I always try to ask why, you know? Yeah. You didn't so, know why? No, you told me why oh, yeah. on here about yeah. the car. I, I agreed yeah. that that was wrong. And it was. I mean, it was. I could have. I, I felt like I could have handled that better. Like just me looking back now. Yeah, that's like me looking back. And I feel like I feel like if we were all intact, I feel like more more W's would have would have been on the scoreboard. Did Dad stop you from dealing with Yella a little bit? Cause him and Half Pint had their. No, nah, I never stopped dealing with Yella. Yella just kind of fell back over time. Like I told y'all, like. When Yella used to drop music videos before the beef, it, he used to hit me, hey, bro, I'm dropping on Friday. Can you post for me? Bet. Just send it to me beforehand so I could schedule it. But Mo3, one thing about Mo3, while the beef, everything, Mo3 would never stop communicating with me. Like, the last time I seen Mo3, we were in Houston at this jewelry, uh, TB, T, TD Jewelers in Houston. I bumped into him. He dropped a video. With, this was the last time I saw him in his, in his form in Houston. He just dropped a video with Kevin Gates. And uh, the video, it was like out for two weeks and it had 14 million views on it. And he was he was looking at me like so mad, like not mad at me, but like, I want to get to 100 million. Like, I want to be the biggest. Like, Sean, what, the, what do I need to do? How can I get on playlists? Like, for the first, like he always would ask me questions, but like for the first time, like sitting down like a student, trying to figure out how he can make this record with Kevin Gates the biggest in the world. And I'm sitting down talking to him like, bro, you got to do this. You got to do that. You are. Did you give back this? I used to always tell him and rain, give back, bro. Become the neighborhood hero. Be the guy, like change the narrative. How you said he was beating up on people? Change the narrative. Like rain will tell you, I'm the reason why they went out and gave out money to people in the hood. Wow. Yeah, I, I told him that. Like, I bro, seen him do that too. I just told Yayo the same thing. So if y'all see Yayo giving out, like I was telling, bro, you got to create the narrative. The internet is going to create the, the narrative for you if you don't do it for yourself. You got to create this content of what you want people to see in you. You know what I'm saying? I agree with that 100%. So, to my point is, me and Mo3 would never stop talking. He was really a student. Like he always admitted that he wasn't like really a like a businessman. Like, you got to understand, he was homeless at a time. He was. So he would, if he didn't know, if Rain wouldn't give it to him, he would call me like, hey, bro, so how can I do this? And that was the last time I seen him. So, I know I'm rambling right now. That's how I love But, uh, Yellow, as he got bigger, me and him talked less and less. And I don't, he don't owe me shit. Like, I'm not like the, all these other people because he just hit me up yesterday, he's giving me a plaque. So, that's real. That's hard. Um, and I, 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 I even in the, the on the show, I said give one to half pint because I felt like half pint. That's was, real. Like, come on, bro. Between me half pint and him, like that shit made it go crazy. Mm -hmm. But um, as he got bigger, me and Yellow stopped talking, and he was getting book shows, features, getting flew out everywhere. But he never he never owed me nothing. But we didn't fall out though. It was just as he got bigger. I don't know if it was because me and Mo three relationship or. Him blowing up, I don't know. I never questioned. Did you him. I never cared. Did you? Uh, did you? You basically understood that he was getting bigger too. Yeah, like that's, bro, you don't owe me shit. That's the one. When thing. that shit went gold and platinum, I never said, "Hey, bro." I never, I never, never shot no uh, slugs at him. Never that did. Ain't you though. Never did none of that. Like it is what it is, bro. I'm a man. I got this shit on my own. I'm gonna continue doing this shit. If we bump heads, if we become cool again, fine. Like, if you hit me up and you want to post, fine. I've never charged none of these guys in the city that came up with me. 
Never charge Yayo, never charge Sauce Walker, never charge Mo3, never charge any of these guys that like Came help me. With you. I never wanted nothing for them, but if I have something that I need from y'all, like y'all got this artist that need a feature, like Same can we day. swap out? That's right. That's like, right. cause I'm trying to build, like I'm. that's how I am, I'm trying to build. I'm not trying to compete. I don't gotta be the richest one either. Yeah. I just wanna be comfortable, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So That's big that, that y'all uh, uh, try to get you know, the plaques and yeah. do the things that it take to, you know, really, really show that he did appreciate everybody. Mm -hmm. I think he did. I think he just grew, you know, I think. It was a lot of pressure too. Well, you gotta think about it. Like even, say Taylor, the one I always talk about, Taylor Gabriel, that's my mm -hmm. little homie. Been coming here since he was like, him and Mr. Hit That was here before. Yeah. Anybody, I've been knowing them since they was, what, 16, mm -hmm. 17, 15. Mm -hmm. And he went off and became, you know, he worked, Millions, 30 NFL plus fans. millions in the NFL. And right. He came back, but I never, when I would call him, I never, you can go to the interview when I interviewed him, I never bothered him like mm -hmm. that because I understand that he's growing, that yeah. he's getting bigger exactly. and bigger. And I got to respect the same thing with you. If people don't hear the call, they should be happy for you. And I know he'll get back to me when he can, right. but don't never take it personal because it ain't like you change like that mentally inside. Mm -hmm. You still feel the same about the people that you pretty much originally, yeah. you know, was cool with. Yep. And I think Jay said it best. He say, uh, the money don't change you. Everybody else he said, everybody around you, around you change. Mm -hmm. So I agree with that. Yeah. Do you agree with and that? Yeah, I agree with that too. And back to the Yellow Beezy thing too. N nobody knows how it feels to be the only rapper in the city that's hot at a time. And is it so much pressure? You got your day one friends expecting shit from you. You got girls, your mom, um, friends trying to rob you, niggas want to kill you. That shit drives you insane, bro. Like, so all these people have things to say about Yella and Mo3 or whoever else that they feel like owes them. They never know how it feels to be at the top and a million people want something from you, wishing on your downfall. So could, do I think Yella Beezy could have carried it different? I, I do. But who are we, we never we don't know what we would have done. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We really don't know. Like, it... Man, I don't know. You know I, I wonder, and and this is something I, I'll ask Rain when he, whenever he uh, is on the show again, uh, it, it, whenever he comes back, like, could these two guys say we know we're not gonna ever rock with each other? Man, I tried to sit them down. No, 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 no. I know we ain't gonna ever rock with each other, but we need to, you know, just pretty much say we don't rock with each other, but we cool. People need to move on with their life. Yeah. Just be able to just say Rain, that. Because Rain called me and said he wanted to sit down with him on the podcast. <laughs> and and to be in, this is, damn, I hope he's not mad at me, but Yellow was kind of like that. Like, if it was done right, like, he not, not no hood nigga shit and entourages, but like real sit down, like. He would do it? Yeah, he said he would do it. This was his last week. They both, I mean. Are you going to set it up? I, yeah, but I'm trying to see like how could I do it to where it's like maybe we have like enforcement and you know not no entourages but like a real maybe ha like because I don't want this shit to be just some nigga shit about music but like kids are watching us. I want this to be about the community. Come on now, you know, Healing. not no fucking just for views. Come and on now, I want this shit to be to where it's though like the kids. You know, we could do something for the you know like yeah. Yeah. So I hope it happens, man. Like I said, that would be big for the city. Mm -hmm. Just to, and like I said, even if they said we're not going to, we, we'll never be friends like yeah. that. But we can, we can agree that, hey, man, you know, everybody, we just, we, you know, we in the city, we want the best for Dallas. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think that's it's big. It's so funny that y'all yeah. is talking about that because we just interviewed Seven the Great and I was talking yeah, about damn. the same situation, <laughs> yeah. not with them in particular, but I was tired of seeing, you know, kudos to Houston, kudos to um, Atlanta because they're always like together yeah. and doing things together. I'm sure they have their own individual beef, but you don't hear it mm -hmm. like that as the only thing you hear is that they're together and yeah. they're always doing things for the community Detroit's and they come too. out. Detroit's together. You see what I mean? Yeah, they are. So, yeah. and I ask him how can Dallas get like that you know yes we know Dallas have that crap in the barrel bucket you know mentality but that's the problem how can we solve it mm -hmm. and one thing he said is just really um because Dallas is like South Dallas Eau Claire Pleasant Grove, Pleasant Grove uh, all these yeah. different places and I had the idea like okay in each of these places you have one person that the whole community will respect and say this yeah. person can represent this you know area mm -hmm. 
let's get that person and each one person from each area and have them come together and say they don't even have to love each other mm -hmm. but let's do it for somebody other than themselves mm -hmm. do it for the community do it for the people you understand yeah. what i mean take that ego out of it i agree and let's and let's come together and and work together and do something for yeah. dallas the community, and show the cage, dallas yeah. coming together you know mm -hmm. what i mean and do that once a month once every quarter yeah. you know what i mean y'all ain't got to rock with each other but to me i'm thinking that the reason why people have all of this negativity with each other is because they don't have a communication. If people yeah. really take the time to know each other. Yeah, social media and the fans speak for a lot of shit. Yeah, right. yeah, the fans, yeah. The, the fans dictate a lot of shit. And like I told y'all earlier, you read them comments, the fans will really make you believe the shit they saying. Mm -hmm. That shit is the devil. Mm -hmm. Wow, shout out to half, well, Yellow Beezy said that other channel, he, didn't, he couldn't think of my channel name, and he said, uh, <laughs> Uh, what did he say? He that said, shit hurt you, didn't it? Uh, it it kind of made you. It kind of made me feel like I need to work hard. It don't ever hurt me. It yeah. motivates me. Yeah. It never think about it. If something hurt me, I'd have never. I, I, yeah, I, I didn't that's motivate. What I yeah, Everything that's what I that happens for boss talk motivates. Like you gotta realize, we, we dealing with some of the biggest names ever. Yeah. I'm dealing with some people that's way bigger than. Mm. I've no, been pop doing your shit. Pop I've been your real. shit. Pop your <laughs> shit. It's true. I mean, shit, nigga. you got to think about it. You never know who you might see in here sitting in this seat. They yeah. fly in and come on Boss Talk now. So mm -hmm. that little, that part right there don't trip. But the respect I have for him. Right. You know what I mean? I definitely would think that he knows that Boss Talk is in, in the city. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But at the end, plus, he done called you talking to Low D's a few times. But at any rate, uh, he was mad about the camera, man. I got to talk to Half Pint. Half Pint just left off the show. We were saying that you wasn't going to drop the video. We didn't know when you was going to drop oh, it. Oh, no, no, no. So so it was about this camera that came up. Little Ronnie and me done talked about it on here. What, what camera? That, that he didn't buy Half Pint oh. a camera. And it got mentioned on here. Oh, yeah. I, I, and I do want to say this. The Yellow Beezy interview took so long to come out because I had a, the YouTube had banned me for a week. What? Yeah. Why would they ban you? Uh, I, 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 I don't want to. Well, it was a strike. They had gave me a what? strike. What? You yeah. playing games like that? No, it was an old video. They came back after a yeah, while. Yeah, like, wow. what the fuck? So it took a week. And I told Yellow B, he was like, when the video drop? And I said, tomorrow. Then that's when I got the strike. So I had to wait a whole week. Wow. Yeah, that's what made it, that's what made it took so long. How Everybody you, was asking about that shit. Too. But how do you, how you know that, that. But strikes go away after 30 days. I know that. Yeah. But, but but how do you feel when, because what if three strikes came up right back, back, back? That would I don't, kill. Yeah, but I don't have, I, I went back and looked and like my shit good. I don't even know where that came from. So Wow. Man. Man, kudos to you, man, yeah. for figuring it out. But no, I think I think like I said, the, the interview was slamming the fact that you even done it. Mm -hmm. like, like, you know, the fact that they that that real life came together, mm -hmm. that that Terry Blue came on there, um, that you know that Half Pint came through. You know, I didn't know all of those guys. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? But I just like the unity, just yeah. the fact of trying, that shit was, just to yeah, even that shit try. Was cool. yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So um, yeah, um, I think. Um, and last thing on Yellow Beezy, I think. I think now I feel like it's his time to be. He could turn into a Yo Gotti if he wanted to. Go out and get a few young artists and just just be big homie. Yeah, mm -hmm. I feel like now because it's like it's hard to have two runs. I mean, it can happen, but like you had that crazy run. You know what I'm saying? And it's like you proved yourself already. Mm -hmm. You have a platform now. So now get it's a lot of young talent out here now. A lot of people checking on Texas. Period. Dallas for sure, but you know Texas. It's a lot of things floating around Texas. That's that that could be something. And I feel like Yellow Beezy, his his brand will last longer if he turned into that. If he started the whole label, wow. do you think he wants that second run, or do you? Think I think he wants to go on another run, which I don't blame him for. I mean, we're all competitive. We all want to see if we could, you know, how long we could do something for. But I feel like, you know, if he finds something that we both like, I wouldn't mind partnering up with him. Should right. I just partnered up with, with, with uh, Rain? Rain, Rain? I don't give a fuck about. Like I told you, I don't care about sharing. Yeah. I don't care about going 50 50 on. 50 50 on something is better than 0 0 on nothing. That's real. So That's real. A lot of people don't want to eat with other people because they don't want to see that person eat. Mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck who eating with me. I just want to make sure I'm eating. Wow. Do you think that um, y'all coming together solved anything? Yeah, it created a lot of. A lot of people that haven't spoken before they're speaking now and they want to redo that again like they want to do it different like they want to have like month like you said like monthly like like when we talked about at the end of the video about 
all the DJs agreeing on five songs to play in the, in, in the club. Like, mm. that shit really helps. Because when I asked Mr. Hit that, I said, so you're telling me y'all don't get together and agree on to push one song? Y'all don't do that? He was like, nah, we don't do that. What? That goes on in every city where the DJs have a sit down and they agree on what song they're going to push. What song is not reacting? What song is reacting? What song we should press more, play more? Like, y'all don't do that? It that shit blew sense. my mind. A lot sense. of people was lost when he said they don't do that. Like, wow. That's why I, I, I was like, me, me and Half Pine and all the blogs, if we can, just think about if we all agreed on one artist and pushed them. That'd be hard. They may not blow. They might, though. Yeah, yeah. That's what Chief said you probably been doing a long time ago. Man, fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> but don't the fuck DJs have, like, an organization? Like, um, here? Yeah, they used to have, like, yeah. a definition, yeah. definition and, and shit like that. Definition like, they DJ, don't have yeah. that anymore. They still cool. had a name, but they don't have meetings. That's just like, the uh -huh. you know, like, the gangs don't have meetings no more and shit. Like, in, the L in L.A., they don't do the weekly meetings no yeah, more. Yeah, but it's more about, more. I hate to say it, it's more about the bloggers. It's more turning toward the bloggers and the interviewers and stuff I still like think that. DJs the DJs is the dopest. Don't give me the music and it being out there in that in that in the each club. I agree, mm. but the bloggers and the interviewers it has a lot of impact. People are watching. Look how many views you get, man. Yeah. You you do better than anybody to me in Texas. You yeah. the biggest in the South when it come down to some elements, man. Yeah. So you know um, maybe and and you killing all other regions as well, yeah. but. That's a that's a lot of impact, bro. Mm -hmm. So I just think it's a lot more station. It's a lot more aimed at that. Yeah, and that's why you can go out here and sign artists and you know help them to get on and stuff yeah. like that. What? What? Let me ask you this. You got to answer me on this because he came on the show too, and he was very sentimental about this. Mm -hmm. What happened with Baby Young and man? Uh, mm -hmm. Baby Youngin. If you want me to be really transparent, it was a lot of beef going on in the city. And he had a leaked, it was like a leak a leaked audio of him saying, fuck, I don't know who he, which rapper he said, fuck him. But it was just like, I, I can't, I don't, it's just too much going on for me to just be around that. You know what I'm saying? But he felt like was when it, he moved was to, to L.A. that yeah. that caused a lot of it. Nah, Because nah. he wasn't here. No, I don't, no. Nah. Because he said the label just all of a sudden they wasn't really helping him he do was anything about after that. Y'all was the label. Yeah, right, nah, part of that nah, I never, I never, my homeboy Third found him. That's right. That's right. right. I didn't find him. I've never signed him. When Third brought him to me, it was two labels that wanted him. But Third being my friend was like, fuck that, I'm going with you because you have the Say Cheese, the platform and shit. So I took him to Say La Vie in Miami, and um, and then um, I don't really know. Like we tried to push him or whatever, and then it just it just flatlined. Yeah, but I have no, I have, I have nothing to, nothing bad to say about him. Like he's a talented guy. It was just with the you running around here saying stuff that could put people in harm's way. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like before I met you, like you know what I'm saying? Like. Like bro, I just met you and you talking crazy about people out here that's really that's really got shit going on. So was it the people that he was talking about? Those people that you were friends with, that people you know? Like, people, I don't know if he label? said fuck. I don't know if he said fuck like trap boy or mo something. It was something like that that bro. was like leaking out, like that was about to like leak. Mm -hmm. And so it didn't get leaked. I don't know. I can't remember. Like <laughs> that's what I'm saying. When you actually that, it kind of like cut me off guard. Cause, <laughs> but. I, when, when that happened, I kind of was just stepped back for a minute. I didn't yeah. stop fucking with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was yeah. still posting him and shit, but. Um, Did you he think he had like potential and everything? Yeah, he had potential. You see what Mexican rapper's doing now? Oh, they killing it, That's bro. what I told him. He was the first one. He was the first yeah. one. Y'all had it for everybody. Come on now. It wasn't, I mean, D-Baby was grinding the shit, and you had. Um, Messi and OT wasn't even thought about, it, to my knowledge. Like, Baby Youngin was that guy, but I, I just don't know what happened. He's still um, hurt behind it, because when we interviewed yeah. him, you can see the hurt. Yeah, it's hurt. In yeah. him, he's still hurt. So, yeah. I, I would love for y'all well, to, to just did, talk. No, nah, I dig. And this was recently. I got him a Money Man feature for free. You mm. did? So, nigga, did he tell y'all that? No. Come on, bro. Mm. See what I'm saying? Niggas only tell their side of the story. I don't think he... No, nah, he, he didn't he, mention it. He was hitting Money Man up for a feature for, like, months. And Money Man busy. Like we, like I said, people, people get busy. busy. So, I text Money Man myself, like, bro, I need it. If you, want me, if you want me to pay, I got it. But he was like, nah, bro, I got you. That nigga sent the feature the next day for Baby Youngin to go on his new tape. 
That's big. So yeah. for him to say that, like mention, he didn't it, say nothing really no, bad. No, 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 but, but, mention, but still mention. He just mentioning the hurt though. Yeah, the, but mention the good through. too that just recently yeah, happened. How long mention. ago? This had to be a year ago. So oh, yeah, oh, we just, said, yeah, yeah, we just said, we just, yeah, he should have mentioned that. Yeah, because the thing yeah. is that he'll say, well, I don't have nothing against Sean. You know, people say that and whatever, yeah, but then, right. yeah, but then <laughs> when you're talking about the situation, you can know that you it still. It was almost like he was going to sign a bigger deal and you guys, you guys detoured him a different way. Wasn't it like that? Something. It was like that. It was so many people reaching out to him. And oh, well, at what stage though? At the beginning? At the beginning. I mean, no, nah, both deals were the same size. Like, okay. uh, uh, John, um, damn, I forgot his name. Cinematic wanted him, and Say La V wanted him, mm -hmm. and they kind of both wanted him. because you know how both labels wanted him because somebody was interested in him. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it was like, damn, this label want him. I want him too. Then that's the way it be. So it's kind of like both labels were the same offer. Really, it was just different teams. Mm -hmm. Wow. So. Man, I think uh, that's dope that y'all even was able to pull it off and get it to where it was. Yeah, that's he bought. Big, I think he dollars. bought his mom a house. He did buy. He said like, that on here too. It was a lot of W's that came out. That's of that. what he got out so. of it. Yeah, I think that's dope, man. So go yeah yo, man. I got to talk to you about go mm -hmm. yeah yo. Like, like you sat down with go yeah yo. I love the interview. Yeah. I love the energy. I love seeing you guys together. Like, how was it after he been gone for four years? How was it sitting down with him? How was the energy for you? What did you think about? Man, it? Man, he's he's a he's matured a lot. Um, like he's a lot he reminds me a lot like Mo3 like calls ask questions like hey um, what should I do next like I'm hungry like hey like I'm in the studio he'll text me um, in the morning send me five songs like like that's the type of shit like he like he's a man now like he know he got kids he got mouths to feed it ain't like 10 years ago when you didn't have no kids and you didn't have no responsibilities like um, but uh Yayo has a Yayo has a lot of I'm, I want to say this too Yayo has a lot of big big offers on the table really and he's a boss like we on boss talk so we gotta keep it boss You're talk boss. he uh he has a lot of labels that want him like big money but he's standing on ten for now until we dropping the tape wow because me and him partnered on on this tape wow and and I I, I had uh, my boy Bruce to say he wasn't he he wasn't he didn't like the music that he was hearing so far. Like, mm -hmm. like what, um, you know, because he says that, you know, it's not, it doesn't like, match. It's, the, it's just not, he didn't know him before, mm -hmm. but he was saying he was expecting more. He said kids and everybody watching and he just don't like the drill type. Yeah. You know what, the, what the things that See, I think now he just came up with this song named called motivation talking some good, like positive shit. But to okay. my point, I think he's just trying to get, he's trying to figure himself out okay. like for, I know you said you did time in jail. Four years is a long, a long time. Like, he's trying to get out and see, okay, what do people want to hear from me? Like, I don't, he came out kind of like not confused, but like, you know, like when you in jail, time stops in jail. And when you get out, people, life keeps going. So music changes, the sound changes. To me, he's just trying to find himself. But this tape that's about to it's come about out. about to pop off. Man, bro. I gotta disagree with you a little bit on time. Uh, oh, you, you think time's no? Don't I stop think it? I think you got niggas beating on their chest, beating on the table. They focus so much and they writing and they they see he didn't write. He didn't do that. No, he cr they cramming. They they trying to figure out how to make their brand the best they could think possibly mm -hmm. to make it. Now some people go in there and say I can't deal with dealing with music or nothing right now. That's I'm how he this was. Time. That's how so he this, was. So it's two different type of people. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you, they have battles in there. You listen yeah. to yeah. Al D three hundred right mm -hmm. now with the boy, be with little Kiki. He from Houston. He, he no, he from he from East Texas, East Texas but he live in Wait, Houston. That's he the one with, with the face tats. Yeah. yeah. Yo, that I, nigga go. I reached. He I, hard. Yo, I, I reached out to him. His music tough. That nigga bad, ain't he? Damn! Everybody loved him. Like all I see, of, he got like a like a fan. They like love a real, him. Like a, that's, that's, and Mr. Lee always worked Mr. with him. Mr. Lee worked with him. Like, but it's because the way he came out, he did like ten albums. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like when he first, and his, selling them with with the flash drive, flash drive. and like, he was I doing like that dude, out of his trunk. I and like dude, music. Tell him I said it was good. I'm gonna tell him, man. He he, he he he. I, th I know he'll I, connect y'all. Oh yeah, Damn. for sure. He I hard. Like his, he really be talking in his music. Oh man, it's hard. Samples and everything. And let me tell you something. If you sit down and have a conversation with. Yeah. He is he's deep. Yeah. He's gonna argue like hell, but yeah. he, he deep. I, I like dude. Now, I seen him around, I checked it, I checked his music out. Matter of fact, I seen him on here. Yeah, 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 but he 
everybody, he get calls from everybody, bro. Yeah. The people that his cult following, he connecting with people you never would know mm. that he connecting with. P- big right. name people. They yeah. gonna just hit him up. He a little older too, right? I don't know this nigga age. These tattoos yeah. camouflaging. And shout out to LD three hundred, nigga. We want to know your age. age. We want to yeah. know your age, nigga. But we know the tats. You know what I'm saying? We don't know. Yeah. But that first day, I got, day I got out, an older. Favorite. I got an older vibe from his. Music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's because he been locked up. But he did seventeen yeah. years, so man. What? What did he, what he do? I don't know. That you need to interview him. You interviewed him already. No, How but you I, don't he know? didn't tell me about that. We oh. don't talk. We talk about the music. Oh, I'm not. Okay. I don't go into deep detail and like analyze. Like your show yeah. is different. Nah, you would aim for that. You yeah. different show. No, I think our first interview we did talk no, about. No, we was, didn't. No, we sure? didn't. I know we didn't. <laughs> I didn't. I know. I, I remember that. No, I, I just think that we talked about the music because he was so busy but working. I don't normally go into that. Sort you of ain't stuff. did nothing. You been do Shush. your damn job. Yeah, <laughs> but I still love you though. So I, I, I gotta go, ask I wanna you. go back to Go Yayo. I don't okay, wanna leave him here. Like Go Yayo, man. Like when you think about like what he had going with 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 the Mo Three thing and 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 how you was able to you know bridge do. Do you feel like he's moved on and 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 he understand what went on with that whole situation? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He's moved on from that. Like we even spoke on in the interview. Like he's moved on from that. He just really wants to provide for his family. Like when right. I hear him talk, it's like, yo, I just got out. I t- he just bought his mama house too. Hey, people know. Um, but he's really just wants to provide for his family. You know what wow. I'm saying? And I know sometimes he like fights. He he's having a battle with himself because he got a, he got his fame from beef. Yes. Dissing. Yes. So now it's no beef. So it's like, damn, are people still going to love me with no beef? Like, sometimes, I, that's what I'm trying to say. He's out. This is the first time in his career where it's like, I'm making, I'm I'm, tr- I'm trying to strive off not beefing. You know what I'm saying? And he's really trying to, sh- like, figure it out. And for, like I said, four years is a long time. So I think, I think, I, I, I told people, you know, and, and it was some people that didn't like his first two, three songs, and I'm just like, you know, give him 90 days. Well, Man. that's hard, but did you, I mean, I remember him being with, with Soldier Boy a lot. Did yeah. you, I wonder if they even reconnected. They reconnected, but I, I feel like they brands kind of don't match. Like, yeah. you know, like people, Yayo's kind of, Yayo's like gangster, and Soldier Boy, he don't really give you that vibe. So I feel like they really don't. I don't know. Let me. Let me. But stop. you think he's, you think he's really going. You you think he's going to be able to figure it out. You got to because you. Well, you don't matter. It don't matter. You still you te- you team go yeah yo yeah, I'm because team, you you came up with yeah. Them. I'm team anybody who fucked with me in the beginning. Um, but I feel like uh, I feel like after this tape, we'll 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 have a better idea what it's going to be. And like I told you, labels are reaching out like crazy. Like big labels are hitting me about them. Wow, that's big. Like, and I ain't talking no small money. Like this may be one of the biggest deals. Um, that you I, ever gotten for somebody? Yeah, like like it, they they talking, but but Yayo wants to release the tape first. Like he wants to prove to people because he sees all the comments and the hatred and shit. But um, that's motivation. Yeah, he's motivated. That's supposed to motivate yeah. you. So I know you're seeing all the crazy stuff that's been going on with P Diddy. Man, what is your um His opinion? take? Yeah, your take on all of man, this? Man, it's it's just sickening, man. Like everybody now, everybody not lying. All these allegations, everybody not lying, man. And I used to look up to Diddy. You know, Sean Combs, Sean Cotton, Sean Carter. Les, right. Jay-Z, Diddy. Like, we all got the same SC shit. I know. But I used to, <laughs> I used to use that as, like, fuel as, like, an motivation. executive. Yeah. But just, like, seeing all that shit is just, like, man, that nigga is sick. He's a... Yeah. Man, that nigga. But I see some people um um like Glasses Malone went live the other day yesterday the glasses. and um he was talking about like yeah they're trying to get him for sex trafficking but how is this man he's like I've been to his parties I don't see none of the stuff that they're talking about how is this man sex trafficking and the only thing I could think about you know because you know when we think about sex trafficking back in the day think about oh you kidnap somebody yeah. and then you but if you look up the meaning of sex, sex trafficking that's not really what it is and it changed when the R. Kelly situation came because that's what they also got him for. Yeah. So, you know, they tweak stuff to try to get yep. you. If you underage and you fraudulently, you know, get her, you transport her from here to here to here, even if you just taking her out, but mm. you, you know, men be lying to women and mm. women be lying to men. Yeah. And they use that against you and, you know, and put it under that bracket. Are they saying that he was flying girls out, like underage girls? That's the, it, I don't even the know the come, whole, the feds already got 95% of conviction rate. 
See? So, so something that we don't even know probably didn't happen. Man. And why would they have his sons in handcuffs sitting outside? I heard they took a couple of men. Now, this is all alleged. Now, don't try to get me. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I sent you a video, too. I saw it on TikTok where he said, this, he had gray hair and stuff, so this had to be something recently. It was this white, younger girl. Did you see that one where I'm um, underage that he said he adopted and his sons was yep, in the background or whatever? I saw that on I Twitter. saw that and they were floating that around like you know yeah you adopt her but like they're trying to insinuate like yeah you what, what are you doing because she was homeless and yeah. stuff like that and he even tried to clarify like no I adopted her just like Angelina Jolie adopted you know black yeah. kids and this person you know it's nothing like what people make it seem yeah. but you know people gonna take it there Man, I be hearing so many stories about Diddy like I ain't gonna say his name but he told me like in 2002 they were all Diddy Autumn were chilling in New York like hanging out, like in a group. And Diddy randomly asked a guy he just signed. I, I ain't gonna say no names though, right. but he just asked a guy that he just signed, jokingly though, out loud, like they're in, like us, just chilling. Would you would you suck a D for a million dollars? Like like that. Mm. He asked him that. Wow. I think he it's, He that, asked him that. That like, power, just that to, money and the just power. To see, like joke like he asked him jokingly, but like to you see know, if he will. Damn. Yeah. Damn. Like I'm in in like behind closed doors. No, Diddy. Uh, behind closed doors. <laughs> um, I I I've always heard like crazy shit about Diddy. Always. always. Nothing never come. Nothing never comfortable. Always like some two a.m. Damn. Always some some late night after the after party after 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 party like shit. Did but you? how do straight not straight people? How do straight individuals, as in like stand up individuals, mm. not you know, stand up to him and say, yo, that's wrong or this is this, whatever. I think a lot of, I think he, I think, I think people like that go after people in survival mode. And what I mean by that is like people with power, they go after people who, who want opportunity, need opportunity, maybe be broke at the time. And people look at Diddy as an opportunity. So a lot of these people don't say no because, or they're scared to say no because they're like, well, damn, if I do go over there, maybe I can get a hip song or maybe I can get auditions in this new show or so I feel like people with power they they know which people to go with which people to fuck with which people they know don't have money right now that you know mm -hmm. like they, those people they I don't that's one thing about I don't even go to the club I don't go to none of that shit but if they do that, I don't, fuck don't with come back. Don't come back. You voluntarily. What'd you yes, say? No. You voluntarily. Okay. Yes, I'm vulnerable. Yes, I need money. And you come to me and you offer whatever. And I'm going to say, okay, yes, I'm going to do this because I want money. Don't come back years later on and say, well, I you agree. raped me. No, yeah, you did. I agree with I, that. Bought, I agreed to whatever situation it was that I you were offering. That. You, yeah, once you did it, it's like, yeah, you did it and you know, whatever. But, um, no, nah, that's yeah. that's a great point. I want to, you know, I I got a beef with you. Damn. Yeah, yeah I ain't, that don't even sound right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we went, we went. I'm trying to wait. My mom. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. We went, we went viral. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Breakfast okay. Club called out Boss Talk 101. What, uh, what was this? Wait a minute. Uh, uh, who else? Fifty Cent posted us. It went to three million. Academics. Quick. Academics posted what? us. The Vlad. Shade Room posted us. What? Vlad, Vlad posted us. All behind Columbus Short when he said the on Boss Talk 101, he called me over at 2 30 in the morning yeah, and said, it's just me. That's Boss Talk. And what's so crazy? <laughs> when I just said the 2 a.m. shit, I see you. got that on Boss but, Talk. But look though. And Say Cheese didn't post it. But no, no, no. That's why I miss it. No, no, no. <laughs> see, I, I watched it. I don't think Say Cheese be posting people like nah, that. Nah, man, I, I post a lot of people. You do? Yeah. I, I, Nobody in Dallas posted us, no, but, but the world that, that, posted us. Oh, nobody in Dallas. Even Breakfast Club bro, posted bro, us. Bro, uh, no, look, look, look. <laughs> I, I watched that, but all you had to do was just text me like, bro, post that. It's everywhere. I don't know. We text don't ever tell nobody to post us. I need to us. do that. Yes. You should have told me that. You I'm about to say you yes, no. be my mentor. You about to be helping me. I'm going to call you right back, bro. <laughs> you about to be helping me. I didn't bro. know that part. No, I did watch it. <laughs> I did watch it, but I just... Damn, bro. Shout out to Jess Hilarious. Yeah. She must she yeah. gotta love Boss Talk 101 because she say on Boss Talk 101, that was the first time we ever been on there like that. Mm. Man, that was that. crazy. That's big. That's though. huge. Everybody that's called big. AD called me from no yeah. well, X No Jumper Chameleon. Yeah. He was like, Man, E, that's you big. said the same you thing. Be to proud of that. Dallas Global said he didn't post us either. I told Dallas Global nobody posts us from the city. When I nobody. Tell you, when I tell you 
news. But I know you would have posted for me yeah, if I called you. you. Hey, hey, this shit going everywhere, bro. <laughs> but I, I didn't think we had to. I didn't think that we had to. I just, thought that people just see it and be like, yeah, hey, but me. it's just so much news and so many outlets and. It's, I know you would have yeah, posted bro. Cause people wonder how we get Sean Cotton all the time. Yeah, it's like you, everybody. You don't. I don't even bother you, and everybody don't get mad at me. A lot of people be trying to get a hold of you through me, yeah. and I won't do it because I be like, if it don't make sense to me. Mm-hmm. But I pro- I could be wrong. But a lot of times I don't bother you because yeah. I be like, eh, I'm not messing with him about that. No, but if it's that. something that's that I don't think fits. Yeah. What you would even mm-hmm. deal with, you right. know what I mean? Like I watch a channel and I watch things that you do. I'm like, he not, for, I'm not for the bother. I want you to understand when I call you, it's about something. Exactly, and that's what I. A lot of people believe, and that's what I told uh, Yellow Beezy. A lot of people waste favors just because they know they can. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like he was like, why you? He said on the show, why you never let me do a feature for any of your artists? I said because. It's the, when the time is right, when my, when I call you, you gonna know it's real. That's real. Mm-hmm. Like I'm not gonna call you just cause niggas will call you cause they know you got money just so cause they know you're not gonna say no. no yeah, I'm, I don't I don't move like that. So you know how I am. You didn't figure me out yeah. pretty quick. <laughs> like yeah. uh, I try to stay solid with the with the things that I do, mm-hmm. and I know that my name stand on everything that we. And exactly. boss talk. If I call whoever, and I, I, I just, I, it gotta mean something. I'm like yeah, you yeah. with that. Would you? So, what you think about? Because Honeycomb came out, and then he went Not right even back days. in. Not even thirty days. And, and now he mad at his family because they didn't go to yeah at the court day niggas man what you, <laughs> niggas think the world revolve around them bro Just hating it man but you would think that people especially if you bro, niggas, to prison like I told y'all earlier life go on man people got bills people gotta eat the world getting crazier more dangerous I'm not about to go to keep going to this nigga man I signed the artist and I told him. I, I, there was this one Dallas artist I signed. He was nice, and I met him at the. I met him in Juvenile when okay. I went to go talk to him yeah. with Trap Boy. Yeah, I met him. He was super nice, super dope. I signed him. I told him and his mom. I looked him in the eyes. I said, "If you go back to jail, I'm not bailing you out." Mm. I said, "I'm not bailing you out." He went back to jail. I bailed him out. <laughs> he went back again. I'm not bailing you out this time, bro. Why you think they can't learn their lesson? Ego, pride, anger, disappointment. Like they, they disappointed in themselves. They hate, they mad at their position. They like need counseling. Counseling. They the the household. Mm-mm. I ain't and, and just to my point with honeycomb. Nah, bro. Like. Mm-mm. Do you think it's he gonna ever come out and become be? Nope. Nope. You think he's done? It's too easy to trick him off the street. If honeycomb get out of jail. You could be a rapper and say, fuck you, nigga. Fuck you and your whatever happened to your family. He going to crash out. It's easy. These niggas make it easy, bro. Wow. It's it's easy. It's easy to get these niggas out, out the way. It's easy. It's super easy. You can say any words get to all these people. Wow. Word get to everybody. You just said you don't read the comments that's because why of that. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> words get to me. We're human. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, who? Because it's like, who the fuck you think you is talking behind a keyboard like that? Like, who you? I'm not the toughest guy in the world, obviously, but who are you? Willie D had a verse say, you, they got, I catch you in person, I'll break your fingers. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Willie D was hard on that verse. That was, that was on one that, that uh, he was talking about quitting the South verse. Yeah. You know, like, that, the, uh, F, FYBJ Maine. This dude, man, like, you you and him connected. Mm-hmm. I only seen him through you. Mm-hmm. Like, I, did you, when you first started dealing with him, did you know he was going to nah, like at that? at first, Victoria kept hitting me up about him, and I'm like, who the fuck is this? Because he kept dissing King Von, and like I told y'all, I don't really like that. Like, I get if you, like, poke at people and shit like that, but he, like, kept using King Von, like, dissing King Von. But as I, like, got to know him, he kind of, like, found himself in... He caught a niche with his, it hit different and the phrases and the serial whoops. And whoops, yeah. He just gave uh, my whole basketball team whoops, so they I were seen happy. your basketball team. I was going to ask you about that. Top 10 in the that. nation. I seen wow, them with the, with the same team yep. yep. on the shorts, yep. man. Yeah. Congratulations, yep. man. So that, different stuff like that I like doing, you know? Yeah, I see I hardly that. put that on my page and stuff like that, but I do a lot. I try to do a lot for the community. As you should, like, because you God has feed, blessed the, you. I go downtown, feed the homeless. Whenever we throw big parties, like bi- fight parties, um, when there any leftover food, we, me and my girl, we always go down there and just give them whatever we got. That's that's it. Um, never we never put it on a uh, on Instagram, yeah. like, cause that's not what it's for. But 
Um, it, and it, it feels good, too, just to see they smile and they're so grateful. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Because yeah. like, I'm so used to dealing with people who ain't shit, who, no, don't, who don't even say thank you. Man. So, yeah, that's Have so. you ever seen a homeless person like that? Because when you give it to them, do you ever stand up and like hear their story and talk to them? I need to do better with that. Because I feel like we treat we treat homeless people like like they dogs. Mm -hmm. Like, have you ever been at a red on a bad day? You've been at a red light and you just didn't even want to look at them. You just look straight because <laughs> you didn't want to make eye contact. Right. It's like, damn, like and everybody do that. Everybody don't want. And then, and then they start to feel invisible and then they start to feel worthless. So that's right. You're right about that. Yeah, because wow. I would love to hear some because some of these and people. Would I be wrong to go downtown and inter and do interviews? No, you wouldn't be. That would be some would dope be, interviews. Because they do that in Philly, in yeah. Kingston, where uh, the the uh, where they where people be shooting the heroin and they be hearing their story. They be paying them. That wow. be is that is that bad to do? No. It's, I don't. It, it, I don't it, feel that way. I don't know, but like, I wouldn't I pay know, them. It could but I wouldn't pay them. When I say I wouldn't pay them, yeah, because they go buy more drugs. Exactly. I'm the type of person that I'd be like, okay, what do you need? Mm. You hungry? I'm gonna go buy you some food. Do you um this this, this food place right here? Do I need to pay for a month worth of food? Mm. And you go over there and get lunch Damn. every day. You see what That's I mean? Dope. I'm gonna get with somebody in the city, and we what we gonna do? We gonna get we gonna get a few homeless people, and we're gonna we're gonna get um. We're gonna get their hotel for 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 a month or wow. like a week. Wow, that's dope. Wow, that's, yeah. you see what I mean? Damn, that's that just touched me. Yeah, because I feed them and I don't talk to them. Yeah, damn, and they regular people. Because I've met, yeah. we met. I remember the time when we met this lady at Yoke. And she works in there. She said she was telling us her story because we talked to everybody. And she was saying she was homeless at once because her husband, who was rich, whatever, ended up putting her on drugs, mm. and because he wanted her out of the way so yeah. put her on drugs and she ended up being homeless under the bridge or whatever and she only had one bible that she would always read and that's that's what helped her get clean and get out of it but just to hear her story and the things that she went through and Damn. where she was she was up here you understand what i mean and to know that you can be up here and ended up under the bridge mm. you understand what i mean yeah my girl she keeps in touch with this homeless lady um and when the homeless lady lady needs uh like um, Sanitary she needed stuff. she needed a bigger suitcase to store her stuff in, mm -hmm. and my girl went and and gave it to her. But but when you ask me that, it's like damn, I really don't be talking to them. Mm -hmm. I just I just go ahead and get out the way because I don't know if they're gonna try to like you know. Yeah. Yeah. I, like, damn. I, I I think I think you you just you got to go with the spirit to move with God. Yeah. yeah. Like what what do you think like? The, the L, I'm gonna go back to F that that F B. How do you say his name again? F Y F Y B J man. F Y B J man. This oop cereal is it's it? Called where, Whoops. Where, where where can you get them at? Uh, you have to buy them online. They're a hundred dollars a box. Y'all man, you know, and, and people then, buy them. Yes. Did, was you there when when he came up with that? Was you? Or did I you, wasn't there. No, I wasn't there. But it's like you almost introduced me to him. You helped his brand yeah, a lot, bro. Yeah, for sure. Like so, he blew up quick. Like, yeah. like, like, I was trying to figure that out. I'm like, these platforms, you really can take somebody and yeah. make them. And the same thing with anybody. Like, if you can believe, like, um, you know how Vlad has Boosie and correct and all them different people. And if it's somebody and y'all bond well and and the numbers go up, shit, yeah, put, put them on a contract or, you know, look out for them and shit. That's hard. Yeah. I, I just see him moving. He over was there. homeless too, uh, but he, he, yeah, he. But this is public though. He went online and he was homeless, homeless. And one day I, um, I picked him up. Uh, he was at a U-Haul. He was about to move. He had his last money. I picked him up and uh, I said, "Here, bro." I gave him. I gave him a good, good amount of money. I said, "Bro, this is for two interviews, but you better not run off on me." Mm -hmm. Real shit. I said, "This is for an interview." The next time, next month. And uh, so that money got him to where him and his family could, wow. yeah. Then he end up with That's Cardi cool. B or something. I said to me, yeah, yeah, yeah. This nigga was moving. I said, this uh -huh. boy here. I said, he moving. And he, yeah. and, and like I said, you only going to see more people like that. Yeah. Like, how do you know who to pick and who? Bro, like she just said, like y'all just said, when I, when I picked him up at the U-Haul spot, it's just when he got in the car, it was good energy. Mm. It was his, it was good, like, just good energy and I was just telling to my I was just telling myself I'm a I'm gonna help this kid man I'm gonna help this dude and then um I just I handed him the money and he was like bro and ever since then we've been locked in 
Wow. I don't know, now he interviewing people. In, I, in see his, so I see it. I see it. Yeah, yeah. like, Didn't just, he do one with Rain? I know you and Rain and him did one together. Yep. Didn't they do one by themselves? Nah, me and Rain did. Oh, they did. They did. Yep, he interviewed Rain. Yeah, 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 I, yeah, I, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, me and Rain, me, him, me, him and Rain interviewed did 600,000, I think, something. 700,000. Wow. I got to get him in here one day. That'd be cool. Yeah, yeah, that'd be he cool. has a real story. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Like he, outside the funny shit, he has a real story. No, he's. I hear good things about him. Yeah. I hear that off camera, he's real, like, he not even, like, all the way like that, but he's real, like, a respectable yeah. dude, from what I hear. Mm -hmm. I just go by what people tell yep. me. He's know? a real good dude. Yeah. Have you ever reached out to go interview Keith Lee? Okay, you know, he came to town the other day doing all of those reviews. Uh... I, I didn't. Uh, I would love to. I just feel like his inboxes, everybody reaching out to him. Right. I just don't even try. Because he be working. He, he be, be working. all over. He be working, man. Antonio Brown was on your show. How did you end up pulling that oh, one Oh, shit. I, I DM'd him. I'm like, hey, bro. Uh, <laughs> shit, what, what we doing? And he jumped right on it like a like a fish take the water, huh? Yup. And, uh, he, and he wanted to do it. Yup. He, wow. wanted, he wanted to do it, man, and it went crazy. I threw him a little bread though, cause he was out here and shit, and he, I had, to, he, he had to stay an extra night. Wow! So, uh, so I had looked out for him, and we got it done. Really good dude, though. They, he's not crazy. He's not dancing. He just, he just know what he's doing. Wow! So you, 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 are you going? Am I going to see you with him anymore? Uh, we might, we may have something in the works again. Um. Man, I got a long list of interviews coming, bro. I got really? a long list of interviews. Guess who coming. I finally met? Who? Uh, Sauce Walker. Oh, for real? I never mm -hmm. met him before. He hugged me up, hugged me. Man, OG, I respect you. Were you? Were you we was in Vegas. In Vegas at the clothing uh, show. Yeah, he seen me. He was, ran, he for was Super Bowl. No, yeah, but I was there for apparel. It was during the same yeah. time, and mm -hmm. that's my zone. Yeah, he, does, he don't do a lot of interviews. I no. love Sauce. Nah, he rocked with he rock with Boss Talk. Yeah. He, he definitely made that a pre prevalent thing when yeah. we was in Vegas. Yeah. He made sure to know, like, man, I love what you're doing. Yeah. I respect you, and thank you for looking out for my guys. Bring mm -hmm. them on the show. And everybody was on his head though. All the people there, like what the you mean? Like why? When you going on boss talk? When yeah. you going on, oh, they oh, love he. Yeah, he yeah. in my space. Yeah. I've been going out every six months since oh seven. Yeah, man. So, so I, they gonna tell him like it's it's hard to. He get, found out like yeah. they know boss talk. <laughs> yeah, I think I think I think I only interviewed Sauce three times. Yeah, over these t fourteen years, he don't mm. do a lot of interviews. He don't do a lot of. Interviews. He never went on no jumper. He never went on Vlad. Like yeah, never, but I'm from Texas. I know, no, no, no. He definitely got to come over. Got to come over. Yeah, you know, I'm just, got to. <laughs> he said that though. He like man, propane. Everybody say I got to come on boss talk because yeah. I'm a business owner. You represent business exactly. in Texas. Yeah, you can't miss this spot. Mm -hmm. So I think I think. Did, what, what else did you have? That's it. Uh -huh. see, no, no, see the no. bridge fall last night in what Baltimore? Bridge? No. Oh yeah, I did see somebody I didn't see that. that. No, yeah, I what did happened? this morning. The bridge collapsed. Like a main, the main bridge over the water. Yes, in Baltimore. Nobody was hurt. Twenty people, cars got yeah, died. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dang, was Bridge it an earthquake out. or it wasn't nothing. nothing? A ship, a ship hit it, and they didn't even know. So did it fall on the ship? I'm gonna show you. They didn't even know. That's that's what I'm telling you. It must have had that. Some shifted and made it no, to where it that, couldn't get clear. I wonder if that ship was out of out of. No, that no, ship probably but, come but through that bridge, all the time. A bridge is made. Was is that bridge made out of like? Yeah, it hit. Wow! I, was, that was, that was, that was, what time did that happen like, last night? Like one at two a.m. Yeah, I was up. I was so up. It fell, I was up it since fell on the asleep. ship. It hmm? fell on the ship. Would you? Yeah. It fell on the front part yep. of the ship. People died. Wow. Yeah, yeah, they said over twenty cars. Rest in peace to those people. Bro. All of them died. Yeah, I would think so because you're yeah, falling in water. In the car and everything. You're Unless inside you of water, and it's you. I think the it's cold. pressure. Not even that. You can't even. How you gonna door. open the car door in the car, in the water? Yeah. The pressure. You Unless screwed. your window was already down when it went in. And Baltimore went is cold. It's at cold. Night. It's cold. And then a lot of people not reactive like wow. that. Yup, man. They don't think like that. Like if you in there and you a real thinker That's and you've been th you've been in that type of situation, you could do it. You gotta. Your mind yeah. gotta be set to go. Why would he feel like he can make it under the bridge like that? He might have didn't he know. He might have just. He, he might have hit. Like one of the poles? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. He had to hit something over And now that company is going to be like, what company is that? I don't, I don't know. know. They're they, they probably going to be out of business now. Wow. I want to ask you before. The city, the city could sue and the victims. Yeah, right. the victim definitely going to sue. And the city definitely going to be pissed. 
Cause that make them look bad. That make them look mm. bad. So they not for the play Rest about that. Rest in peace to the people who passed away. Yeah, man, we hate that sad. album, man. That's big, and I know you be, man. You Twitter fanatic, so you gonna talk about that on Twitter or somewhere. Oh, yeah. You always you post about. Do you do you do your own Twitter? I got a team. With got my team? same Instagram team. They do, do, do Twitter. That's mm-hmm. hard, man. Yeah. How was it with Fred O'Bain? Y'all just it was it was too. dope. Yeah, it was dope. That's my guy. Uh, I've been knowing him for a long time. When he got out of jail, like I helped like with the promo and stuff like really? that. Really. Yeah, he's a good dude, man. Great yeah. guy. I hear his energy right. I talked to his manager when he was coming up because they came over here. Yeah. Yeah, with DJ Chose and okay. stuff. So I know they people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Great it's, guy. it's like, like some Carlos Miller tell me all the time. Shout out to Carlos. He like, E, sometimes you might not get the interview, but just build a relationship mm-hmm. with those mm-hmm. people. Bro. And when it happens, it's going to happen. Shit. And it'll be a better it'll interview. It'll be real, later real on. shit. Because there's so much more to talk about. That's what right. he said. Yeah, bro. So he gave me that when we was just, I just yeah. re interviewed him too. Yeah. So, man, God got me with an elite group of people you mm-hmm. Carlos like I got some yeah. man Chico Bean like I got some people some real stomp down people that could support yeah. Boss Talk so I don't one thing I never do is I not focus on one person and negate the people that God already put in my life mm-hmm. boy it's some dope Dope, Bun B, Ice T. Mm-hmm. I got my list crazy, man. So in the little smaller time I've been in this, man, God been good to me. So thank you, yeah. bro. And, man, and I everything it. that plaque, man, you the man. biggest to me, the biggest man. It's yeah. not just Texas, just in all, man. I don't know all these other people, mm-hmm. but when you came here, you didn't you didn't hesitate to show Boss Talk One One Love. Yeah. And uh, we put you up on the on the thing. I said, man, I'm take a chance. Shout out to Charleston. You know, Charleston, like, I get him over there. He, it's up to him if he want to do it or not. Mm-hmm. And I, it's gonna be, it was on his birthday. Mm-hmm. i never forget it. Mm-hmm. And we had you set up to go yep. before you even got through that door. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because yep. right, yep. <laughs> we knew, I knew that I had to do it. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Big D, I'd already told him. Mm-hmm. I've been telling everybody, like, I got to get safety. I don't know where that energy come from. Right. But I thank God for yeah. you. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and I, I appreciate y'all guys. And I I want to say before we get out of here to all the artists that are watching media is so important man that's like, real i see all these i see all these texas artists blowing up and they're not doing shit with texas media when you fall off texas media is not going to save you so cu- fuck with people while you're on top it's a mm-hmm. lot of artists that are on top that fuck my channel i don't give a fuck but fuck with the the the, the boss talks go to um Real life, do the shit with the Dallas Globals and the the shit in um not the shit but um stay down production in Houston mm-hmm. and like w- w- media is so important. Trill talk no pill. Trill talk. talk no pill talk. Like because artists get big, like the four bats dude. He gonna tweet. Who should I do an interview with first? Academics or no jumper? Mm. Why you can't do and it don't gotta be a say cheese interview, but. Lift up a media platform from your home because if you ever fall off, none of these guys are going to save you. It's going to be right here. Yeah. One of these guys mm-hmm. who homegrown and they Dallas buys by the people who are Dallas buys. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's just my point. I feel like people get on and they forget how important media is. Yeah. But let and me- artists fall off a lot. Mm-hmm. Artists fall off a lot, and then they want to come do the whole Texas media run shit, and it look corny. Yeah. Yeah. But for some people who no, are right. who are signed with labels, labels are the ones who are telling them what platforms to go to. That's I get crap. that, but that's bullshit too because <laughs> it's like, okay, I'll go do a breakfast tub, a, a, a breakfast club, but I'm gonna go do a boss talk too. Mm-hmm. It's like, nigga, I'm. You can't tell me where to go. That's an interview. So you've worked with labels. You've worked yeah. with labels. Yeah, and you have knows. a label. So you telling me Hell that? Yeah, boss so man. Boss man that? D-Lo just w- it, it went on the media run it, and they said we're not doing no interviews. But uh, but we'll yeah. I, 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 so an artist can tell them. Yeah, man, it's a I'm fucking doing interview. Doing they don't hair. own. They don't own that. Okay. They don't own so that. So it's cap when people talking about. Yeah, that shit cap. If the okay. inter, if the artists want to go there, they could go there. Okay. The, the only thing they own is the music. Is See, the I masters don't know. Of the, so no, I'm, no, 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 I'm no, taking no. it. They, they only oh. own the music. Okay. They don't own your. They don't own nothing. None of none of this. They don't own none of that. They don't That's own crazy. where you can go. They don't own what you can. Your, they only own your likeness. They don't own. That's good. They don't own none of this. No. Okay. Well, That's thank bullshit. you for telling me that because but I, feel like, I did not I feel know like, that. I feel like, and, I, and not even just, I feel like a lot of artists need to, um, when you when you going up, just and it don't even got to just be Texas, just show love to 
um, the media is so important. No matter where you from, if you from fucking South Carolina, fuck around with the South Carolina DJs, the radio stations, the media, because whatever happens, if you don't have that that uh, leverage at your home base, you fucked. Especially, Man. I think people, especially the Man. artists in Texas, have such a upper hand because this is where the media base core is. Because yeah. I've heard so many people say it that Dallas or Texas you has come the here most and get thirty media. interviews before. Right, you leave. that's right. And you, know what I, what I'm I, I, you don't gotta fuck with Sage. I, I'm saying this, putting myself aside because I know it's a lot of people that say fuck say cheese and all that. That's fine, but. Okay, you don't have to come over here, but go over there and do it. That's right. Build a relationship with them. Because yeah. I see so many artists who run and do these mainstream I media runs. I see it. And when that shit dry out, it's bad. It's horrible. It's bad. Because you don't even, and then a lot of them pride won't let them even yep. come back. So their whole career just starts it's to dwindle. Ba- it's bad. Because they pride ain't going to let them come. It's, I, it's so bad. Me it, and Seven the Great just bad. had a situation where mm-hmm. he admitted on here, you see it come out, because I called him early, I showed him, yeah. and, and he came here before he even, 2021. before he even done anything, I let him do a cipher in the store, yeah. so I knew him. And when I hit him up, I was grayed out. Then a year went by, and then he hit me, and I was like, nah, I'm good. And then another year went by, and then he hit me up because Rain, and had, he hit this Rain on that side for some. I heard about that. I got to go and watch And when, when he dissed him, he said, man, y'all let me on. Say, pop my part on Boss Talk. And I'm like, no, nah, nigga, call me. I made him call mm-hmm. me, and then he said, I know what you feel to say because you know you yeah. knew me. You know and I tried. And he apologized. Yes. Oh, he apologized on it. That's good. Because he said, man, he was wrong. He said, I didn't know, but y'all start going up so fast. I didn't. Feel, I felt bad about coming to you. See you. what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> media, know. bro. I, I shout do, out to Seven the Great. Sh- mm-hmm. Shout out to him. I do interviews with a lot of no name, low it don't matter, like, cause media is important. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, I, 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 I man, it, it. You right. You absolutely right. I'm telling you, and it, it's something. Like I said, for I'm not. I mean, they definitely say cheese is is the pinnacle when it mm-hmm. come down to this, bro. You the biggest. The, so yeah. at the end of the day, I just thank God that you uh that God showed us favor with you, man. Yeah. You mentioned Four Bats earlier. What do you think about his music and what do you think about him doing that remix with um, Drake? With Drake? Uh, it, it's just, when you go, when you start off so big, so fast, that shit hurts your career because it's nothing bigger than, what you gonna do next after Drake? It's like, like it, Building uh, building foundation is like building a house. You start with the concrete, then the framing, then you build the roof, and it's like when you go from zero to one hundred, you see a lot of Fetty Wap, you see a lot of Roddy Rich. It's like you come and go, and I hope he can stay. But that formula, it it is really really hard in 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 the space when you can get no bigger than what you already are. Mm-hmm. So that's just my opinion. I wish the kid luck I've though. Heard, I've he, heard he, that a lot. He don't he don't owe me shit. You know he don't owe me shit. You know what I'm saying? Did I'm, you ever even hear of him before? Nah, I didn't either. I mean, I, I think he's like 17 though. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's 17. Yeah, I think he's a. But that's your lane. Uh, yeah, you I mean, did. You yeah, were there with him. I seen you. No, 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 like I see you go for the ones who who basically, but he used to see him. But for some reason, this guy came from out of nowhere. A lot nowhere. of them sneak through the cracks, though. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a lot of them. It's a lot of artists who take off without going through the open mic stages and shit like that. The internet is that's just what it is. Yeah, yeah. But uh, you know, wow. I don't know. Well, I, I thank God, man. That like I said last time you came on here, you you know Big Yavo. I got a call after after y'all interviews and stuff. Hmm. And they was telling me they were gonna come, but I didn't. They didn't ever come. But he came to the city. But I talked to his manager. He went. I think he went on. Uh, some the, the channel with all the white in the back. What's that? Uh, mm. The dude with all the white background. Oh, uh, DJ Small. Eyes. That's where he went. Yeah. He went and he kind of tried to address it, Damn. but it was it. it what it, what, what Rain said or what I said? I think he, it was what more Rain. He didn't call the name, but he said he wouldn't speak on it no more. So I respected him in that. Because Rain said he fell off. Yeah, Rain. You said that he wasn't the only one that fell off. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. He so was, I just remember that Rain just good at like. <laughs> He what? knows he's so strategic. He's gonna come. He's gonna pick on one person 
to to I don't know Rain. He's a funny guy, man. Man, and you're, <laughs> let's talk about you and Rain artists. The, 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 when she when, when, when she take off, when, when she take off, we're gonna come here. Me, I, I want to sit down with Rain and we could do it. That'd be right. hard. I gotta get yeah. both of y'all in here. Yeah, that'd be tough, man. Hey, because he been in there with with Skoda. Shout out Crisco, man. Just say no to Sko TV. Uh, he came on. I want to get you in here with somebody like a Rain, so I yeah. can. Yeah, we're gonna but have to put I, you out the way. What's your artist name? Uh, Unique Red, okay. but. She was sec- she was unique red before I don't know, but she's she's everywhere right now though. And every label wonder, but me and Rain we standing on ten. We want to build like I said, build it up, build it up to where it's she's worth five million, eight million dollar deal. But thank you for everything you do for the city, man. No, nah, man, that's like about love. man. We appreciate you, bro. Without you, I'll- hey man, I'm up here at Boss Talk, man. Who I is just, that? I just exposed you, nigga. Oh, Rain. Oh, Rain. <laughs> Hey, nigga, yeah, 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 yeah. We already talked about it, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, so, so, I, I, I just, I just, like, I've been like that dealing with RPM right now. Ah, oh, man, you a, ah, oh, man, you a mark. <laughs> Cause you used what I told you last night uh, to try to beat him to the punch. No, 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 no. Nah, man, I'm gonna call <laughs> you better, back, man. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> No man, that no, but I got. I'm glad new, y'all working together though. Yeah, and I got. That's I'll dope, do this with, man. Like you do with anybody. I, yeah, I got a newfound respect for Rain too, like because he gives off janky vibes, mm-hmm. but he's really just he's like a it's like a mental thing with him. Like he he play mind games with people. Yeah, yeah. That's how he get a lot of people. He play mind games yeah. with you to get what he want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's definitely a hustler though. Yeah, no, he, a he he outside. He'll go. He's gonna go to the. He's gonna fight for his artist, you know what I'm saying? And I got and he res, and he respects me now more too because he he told me the other day he never seen an artist go up this fast that he ever worked with. Wow, I think so. that comes with working together. Iron sharpens iron. I gotta ask you one Teamwork. thing before I get you out of here, man. Uh, what do you think? And 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 I be tripping off of this, man, because I never went to South by Southwest, mm-hmm. right? But I know you probably been down there, yeah. like like. What does that do? Like, I see artists go down there now, and you can tell me if I'm wrong, but then after they leave there, they don't work for a whole yeah, year. Yeah, I mean, for, for I mean for a whole year. For somebody like you, you go down there and eat. Now, Why? Would I, you talking about interviewing people? Yeah, like I go down there and just, you you would just go down I there. I send people down there. Yeah. I be sending like, like street team. Street team. They yeah. go down there and interview people. I send people. All right, okay, okay. So, uh, it's, not, it's, not what it, it's not what it was. Yeah. Before the pandemic, the pandemic really fucked it up. But what do you think about the people that go down there and perform and then they don't have nowhere else to go the whole year? I think, damn, I, I think you it's- You know just, those people exist, yeah, right? Yeah, I, I think it's just good to rub shoulders with people um, because you can go to South by Southwest. It's just good to make it look like you're doing something. Okay. That's all it does. That's is all it that's does. All it that's does. all it does. It's all for Instagram. Mm. <laughs> That's not good. It's not. No, it's not good. It's not good. Man. So uh, tell me something golden that people can learn from uh, what do they need to do to build their brand um, from your perspective to make it great if they're trying to start a YouTube channel? Um, Stop paying attention to the numbers. Um, When I upload, I always say this. I don't pay attention to the numbers. I'll I'll press uh, publish and then I'll walk away. And then um, um, stay patient. Uh, Do something different. Even if it's like giving away, doing like a raffle or like um, doing like a live stream contest where people have to engage, um, post every day, um, um, and just keep going. Like find somebody you believe in that doesn't have a lot of views and, and create. Like it's like building a character. That's what I like to do. Wow. So um, anybody, it's a lot of money in it, but it's not easy. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's catching on. The competition is getting more and more. Mm-hmm. Hood niggas used to laugh at me for going to the hood with cameras. Real shit. I know. Niggas used to think I was a cop or niggas used to tell me put, put the camera away because they used to think it was like fed. Like, wow. But now you got hood niggas arguing on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Hood, you know? So yeah. it's, it's, it's a different game now. So, um, but yeah, that's really it. Wow. And what do you say? Because this is, this thing annoys me like crazy. What do you say to those people who be in your DMs and when you look on their page, they have 300 followers or even 5,000 followers and hardly no work showing, but they want an interview. They want you to promote their stuff. They want you to, yeah. what do you say to if those you don't people? Have a re- if, you don't, if you're not working and you don't have a real story, you got to keep working. A lot of these people don't have a real story and they just want to be on people's platform like y'all wasting time. Like, yeah. nah, people don't, y'all, y'all don't want to mess up y'all. 
y'all brand either with a lot of BS. Like, you got to work to get on these platforms, too. You just That's can't, true. you know what I'm saying? Like, now, I don't know if y'all take money or not. I, I don't no. really take money, but... You gotta have a real good story or something that's unique about you or a personality or something. But this on here, cause you think you rap good, that them days are over with. Mm. Have, have you have you rapped, have you reached out to Trap Boy Freddie since he's been locked up? No, nah, how how would I reach out? I don't know. I'm just saying, did y'all have that type of relationship? No, nah, I fuck with Trap Boy. Okay. But I just like I, I don't got his information. Uh, You're right. Like his address and stuff like that. Damn, so I, like, um, I had to ask you that question because you interviewed him and I was like, nah, I remember that. Trap boy and but trap. have you written, wrote, wrote him yet? I'm about to write him. I'll What's write the him problem? I'll, I'll, write, I'll him. write him too then and I, I, I'll put my letter in your. In Let's your, do it. Yeah, real shit. Man, that's nah, all real talk. Let's do it. Um, I, just, but, I, I will link because, up and get it. Because I know they say, they say in, in prison and, and, or in the feds, they say, they say that a letter is like gold. It is. I've got the information for that, but it wasn't just because. Like, how is it gold, though? It's it's because you. It like just it's different. Knowing people care. Knowing somebody exactly. thought about you because exactly. so many people fall back. Damn. So many people fall back. So I got it to write him because not because I want him on boss talking nothing because I've been writing prisoners ever since 1997 mm. and, and 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 if you in prison, that's my ministry to write you. Damn. Being real, see from the homeless shit to that, like that, yeah, that, this this is some touching shit, like that's real. That's like, just the real way. That's the real deal. So I was gonna write you him write about random people. No, I write no. the people that like if you come on here, like, and I I don't usually say, it, but Push Your Man Live came on here from Top Off. He t we talked about his uncle, and when he left her, I wrote him. Um, uh, I wrote his uncle. Yeah. Or if you came on this show, and you it's have not somebody just been that's close to locked you that's up, locked up, I write him. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Not just and he that. don't know them, but I don't know him. But I just write him, tell him about what God put on my heart. Mm. You know what I mean? Because mm. I know that a letter means something when you're in those situations. Okay, yeah, I'll write him. So we'll write them together we'll write and, and yeah, shoot no, it to him. That'll be shit. big. You know what I'm I, saying? I hear that a lot. That that is like gold in, in prison. It just uh, it just yeah, it means like you said, people different. do like like we people fall back. Man, life keeps going. Life keep lifing. Life keep going. <laughs> life keep life and shit be happening, man. Real so, shit. He'll be out of there before you know it. So yeah, I'm gonna what, go. he got a year and a half? I think he, yeah, something like that. A little yeah, bit over a year and a half. Write him, though. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna and do he that. he never been on here either, right? No, he never. Oh, have. hell yeah, you write him, he definitely gotta no, be on here. No, he ain't gotta come. No, he gotta, gotta come, come no. nigga. No. Trap, nigga, if, if, no. if that nigga write, nigga, you gotta come, nigga. No. I just need to do it because that's my ministry, man. Right. Thank you so much, man. No, we love you, man. This is great one. I think right? this is probably the best one. I, everyone going to be the best one. Yeah. As we to keep say. doing what we do, we, we got to do better. better. Yeah. But it, I think it's going to help people. That's all all y'all new Dallas artists, man, come on Boss Talk, man. You're always welcome, man. God damn. <laughs> Everybody else doing right? Yeah. <laughs> But All you gotta right. see the work, though. Now, get that on. Check it, man. This is another great <laughs> segment of Boss Talk 101. What the boss is talking But make sure you guys. Don't take that off. Okay. Make sure you guys. Uh, make sure you guys clip. Hit this clip. The next clip is gonna be dope. I promise you, Sean Cotton didn't let us down on this one. Hit that clip right here on the. I think it's on this side. Yeah. Okay. All right, man. Check it. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. What a boss is talk. And let me tell you. If you love this Sean Cotton clip that you just watched, man, he dropped so much jewels and so much education, so much knowledge. Y'all got to check out this next one coming up right here. 